Hi guys, so I'm done with my audition. Yay! Um Oh my god, okay, so do you know when you're like side note, when you're like filming and there's someone watching you or like driving by? Because I'm in my car, clearly. But it's just awkward. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, usually auditions are really fast. You go in, sign in, wait for like a few minutes, and then you go in, do your lines, do it a couple times, and then you leave. So um yeah, and people are like, you drive all the way to city to the city for like a five minute audition. Yeah. Because a five minute audition can book you a thirty thousand dollar job. Duh. So, um, I don't think it's that much that I'm gonna be making off this job if I get it. But needless to say, depending on the job, you could be, you know, going for a national campaign of sorry, I was watching someone get out of the car, of some sort, and if it's a McDonald's commercial we all know how big McDonald's is, and if it's a running commercial and they use it for two years, every time that com that commercial plays, you get residual earnings off of it. So, yeah, I'm gonna drive to the city for a five minute audition if it's gonna land me a job like that. I don't just do it for the money, don't get me wrong. I love being on camera, I love talking, um, I love being on photo shoots, I love different clothes and different looks and I love just the atmosphere of being on set and all the lingo and the technology and I, I, I love it all. I just, I'm an actor so I love becoming a different person. I love being a different character. It's just really, really fun. Um, but now it's getting all traffic-y. Um, so I, I don't just do it because it's a good money maker because I've done plenty of free jobs. Believe me, I've done plenty of free jobs just to build up my, my portfolio and just to get experience. And the funny thing about auditions is there's like a 10% chance you'll book it and a 90% chance you won't. Because if you think about the odds, there's probably 10,000 brunette actresses in the city of Chicago, let alone in the suburbs, that are auditioning for the same job or not auditioning for the same job that are doing the same thing I'm doing trying to to make it or trying to book a job and if your agent is representing like 20 other brunette girls and they're sending the same brunette girls on the same audition what are the odds really in, that you're gonna book it slim to none honestly and that's something in this industry you have to I'm so sorry that I keep playing with my hair I'm in a really weird growing out stage so bear with me but that's the, the thing about these auditions and being in this industry is nine times out of ten, you're going to get tell, told no. I keep screwing up my words today. What the heck's going on? Um, nine times out of ten, you get told no. And it takes like nine no's before you hear a yes. And it could be discouraging because you're like, I'm so good at what I do or I, I really did good at that audition. And it's not you. They could be like, oh my God, she's the most beautiful girl we saw today or she's really good. But there's just something about the timing. Someone might come in that's maybe a smidgen taller and they need that girl that's just smidgen taller so they don't have to like cut the scenes or cut the shot. You just don't know. You really don't know what they're looking for exactly that day. You might be super, super talented. But if the next girl walks in and she's just got that look that they had in their head that day, it's not because you sucked. It's because you're great but not for this project. So I have gone into so many auditions being like, yeah, that's my gig, I nailed it, and I didn't get it. Or I'm like, oh man, that audition, I did not do my best, and, oh, he was cute. Anyway, um, I could go into an audition sometimes and be like, oh, that really wasn't my best work, and I ended up booking the job because I was myself and I was just being me, and I was what they wanted that day. So doing this 10 years, I've probably booked 30% of the gigs that I went to audition for. So you kind of have to build a tough skin. Don't get me wrong. It does bum me out when I don't get a gig. Like it totally does, but it doesn't discourage me from going on to the next one. Um, so later on, I don't want to like bore you guys. I could share with you all the things that I've done because it's some really cool stuff and I'm really proud of what I've done and everything I've experienced and all my training and stuff. I get so distracted when I'm in the car. But anyway, so I'm leaving O'Connor Casting Company right now. I don't know um, when they're going to make their final decision. I think it went really well. Um, they had me do it a few times, so I'm really hoping that I did my best work, and I'm hoping that I was what they were looking for today. If not, I'm taking everything as an experience, and I'm taking everything as a lesson um, because each audition teaches me something new. And so, yeah. 
Um, I will let you know whether I do or do not get the job. Um, if I do, it'll be filming next week into the following. So today's the 1st of April. This is not a joke. I actually went on an audition today. But, yeah. So I'll let you know what goes on, whether I, got, I get it or not. So I'll be heading back to the suburbs now, off to work, and I'll check you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>